Hey YouTube, what's going on? Limitless here with another Final Fantasy 15 gameplay guide. And today I'm going to show you guys where to get the Sword of the Tall. It is a royal arms weapon. It is hidden in the dungeon. Probably one of the most irritating ones I've done in a while. Uh, but anyways, you start off by getting the quest line from Dino. You have to do another four or five quests before this before you get access to it. And uh, it's a level 55 quest that you'll eventually get called a Treasure Beyond Measure. Um, you'll be directed to go to this tower. Um, it's not that far off the beaten path. You go out there, and as soon as you enter, you want to make your way down to the very bottom. Um, now, be warned, you guys want to do a lot of lightning resistance um, accessories on your character for this, um, because there's going to be a numerous amount of thunder bombs in this area. And uh, I'm talking about like 20 to 30 in one fight. Um, if you don't kill them, they, they reset, and they, you know, in these small rooms, you're going to be, you're going to be getting blown up. Um, left and right, your whole team is. Um, so you guys want to put on some thunder resistant accessories. Um, you guys can also buy the thunder shield, which helps against these guys as well. So you guys are have a little more resistance to thunder um, with that shield on. Um, now, as far as the actual dungeon itself, it's the the first part's pretty straightforward. Um, you're just gonna make your way around, and uh, you're gonna you're gonna have to fight a lot of enemies in this dungeon. I think it took me about an hour and a half to maybe two hours to get through the whole thing. Um, that's because you would get into these massive battles like this one where I'm just fighting enemy after enemy after enemy And then uh, once you get done you go into another room, it's the same thing um, So once you guys get to the bottom, um, it's about to show up right here You guys will come to this little room and it looks like there's nothing in here except for a red button Do not touch the red switch um, It'll send you right back to the beginning of the entrance This switch uh, you'll see in a second, do not touch it, it'll whip you back to the entrance You gotta make your way all the way back down to the to this floor again uh, now what you're going to do is I'm going to show you, you guys are going to have to find, it's on one of these little platforms that are on the ground, um, that's the red button, don't touch that one, um, what you're going to do is you're going to go behind that to the left and then there's going to be a little platform that looks like this and you're going to be able to push a button on it right here and it'll take you underneath and then from there it's about 20 to 30 minutes of doing that non-stop um, while fighting enemies every time almost every every time you push one of those blocks um, and when you push the button um, another platform will you know either lower move to the left move to the right this one um, kept going down twice, but you're gonna be in here for a little while um, just because you're gonna have to fight numerous enemies or uh, Demon demon monsters, um, so if you got any demon weapons on you use them. You got hot golems um, And a couple of other demon like monsters and then also the thunder bombs um, Also with a couple of samurais in here, but they're all demon based um, Enemies and you can buy weapons that'll allow you to do more damage to them um, Once you get through this area um, it will take you to the boss of this, and uh, he's not that hard. Um, again, I found the dungeon probably the most irritating, only because you guys are having to fight numerous enemies in these small spaces. There's one battle um, after this, and I'm going to show you guys that uh, I get like trapped in a wall um, with about 15 bombs around me, and I can't get out of it. Um, I just can't get trapped in there. Um, it took me a good while to finally finish off the bombs. Um, so again, using the type of thunder resistance. Um, that you have, and this dungeon's recommended level is 55. Um, most of the enemies are around, uh, you know, 35 to 50. Um, so you guys want to be pretty well prepared. Also, be prepared to come down with items, especially when you're fighting against the bombs, because they are going to blow up and they can kill you pretty quickly if you're not over leveled enough. Um, that's the only reason, really, that made this dungeon a little more difficult for me is I came down here with maybe a couple of Elixirs and a couple of Phoenix Downs. And uh, I had to be a little careful because I did, you can't just, uh, you know, return to the same spot in the dungeon. And after going through it for two hours, you don't want to return back here with, you know, no items um so yeah this is this is the part i was telling you about you guys will have a couple battles like this where you guys are just going to get trapped in a corner of a wall um while trying to fight samurais and demons and thunderballs and it's frustrating but at the same time i felt like this was one of the more challenging dungeons in the game and this is the first like actual challenge i had in this game so far um so it was fun to play through um now the boss itself um not that bad it's just another big enemy monster so you want to have a two-handed weapon on you and uh, from there, you're just going to wail on him. If you have, um, you know, Ignis's Overwhelm Attack, use that because it deals a shitload of damage to one enemy. Um, and then from there, if you guys got magic, you guys can cast magic. Um, Blizzard um, works pretty well. And then any of your, again, big we big handed weapons, your claymores or, or something like that will do just enough damage. Um, it's just a basic dragon enemy. Again, wail on his legs and you guys can break his appendages and he'll fall to the ground. 
Um, after this battle, you guys will get the Royal Arms weapon. You don't have to enter a tomb this time. Um, instead, it just takes you right to the place. Or the, I'm sorry, the the boss actually just drops the, the Royal Arms weapon. So after that, you can just leave the dungeon and be on your merry way. Um, but that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, I was just going to finish up showing you the boss battle ladder fight. Um, another thing to be careful for, he will petrify you with that stomp attack, as you just saw. So, before the boss battle, if you guys want to equip something that, you know, negates petrification, do that. Or if you have any items, do that. Um, but for the most part, this this boss isn't too bad. He is a higher level, but just wail on him with everything you got. You guys should be good. Um, and then again, you guys get the Sword of the Tall, which is a really cool looking, um, Royal Arms weapon. It's two-handed, and it, like, makes a saw-like noise, um, as it wails through enemies. Um, so kind of, kind of fun to use. Um, give it a try and let me know what you guys think. Um, otherwise, I will see you guys in my next video um, when I come up on the next Royal Arms weapon or something like that. And uh, yeah, if you guys enjoy watching, please like and subscribe. It helps out the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks. Bye. Hell yeah! That's game. That's it!